Bryce, it only took us 40 minutes, but we actually found the video game. I, Yay! I rolled two <laughs> D8s. <laughs> Roll one D6. Oh. Boom. Oh. Yes. Welcome back, everybody, to the dojo here on Rage Life Time, Jeff. Hi, I'm Bryce. Uh, we are playing Danganronpa uh, S. S Summer School something. Oh, and we just leveled up. So, hey. yep. So, this is the part where you got to, like, run around. So, did we ever figure out when you land on people, what happens? Um, you talk to to them and sometimes they give you things like because we could actually like try, yeah, try yeah we could just, just try going back because we're not gonna we're gonna go we're go, not gonna go, go all the way yay much. oh you received a move card okay okay uh and that was it uh, huh. <laughs> so let's see we, we do have a move card oh that's a one move card a one move card so which is actually really useful one. uh if you get kind of like close to a thing um let's see we can go in here so <laughs> this is a Board game shaped RPG. Yes. This is not Mario Party. Um, and it's this kinda, is not it's like Mario Party in a way, but kinda. but yeah. Um, the dice element I think is really interesting because it there it does put a a, a layer of like randomness to everything. Mm, um, oh, get that growth, yeah. Uh, wow, we're really just kind of going through it. Um, and I don't think we were ever able to figure out, somebody in the comments can probably say, but I don't think we were ever, ever able to completely figure out whether it was like, uh, do you have to beat the entire game in 50 moves? Or like, because oh. there's like six islands, like are you expected to go through all six islands? Mm -hmm. And is it one of those things where like, as mm -hmm. you level up, um, you're going to get more powerful to the point where you're just going to blast through you know, do, do the, the the better versions of these characters, are they so strong that you can just, like, beeline for the first boss, right. kill it in one hit, and then move on from there? Because maybe, maybe that's, you know, 50 turns is a lot of turns. Maybe that's, maybe that is it. Maybe you, I don't know. We, we, we did not figure that out. It did not seem like got a sec. we knew at yeah. the end of last time. And then in between, you get these little, uh, little story segments. Vignettes, yeah. I never asked for, growing into something I never asked for is debasement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Saying that about a child's growth is insanity. Um, I wasn't paying as much attention as I probably should have. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what they were arguing about. But uh, y yeah, it's it's an interesting <gasps> thing mixing all these characters together. Like it's, it's also, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, like I don't think any of the other like we were referring to Danganronpa as kind of like a JRPG, but I mean it's more of like a visual novel, right? Like there isn't right. is stats a and combat puzzle mm -hmm. game. Yeah, it yeah. Is, it, it normally does not have stats. So. Um, and then Correct. the, I mean, like, honestly, I think I feel like when we first <laughs> were gonna play this, <laughs> and you were just like, "Well, oh, I think this is just like fan service," but this actually seems to be like a really deep and interesting option. Holy shit! My mm. strength of oh, eight whoa. to twenty six. Yo, yo. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. We got a wonderful present. Talent fragments. Oh, right, because we have the different. Are these the ones that let us uh, oh. level up, right? Oh. oh yeah, we gotta pick the small box or the big box or the medium box. Oh, um, ooh. What do you think? What do you think, Bryce? Let's go to the big box. Big box? Big box. Big box. Big box. Bigger is always better. Open it when you get back to your room. Oh, okay. Oh, I wonder. Farewell. Oh, and then we just go back to our room. Okay, why why bother? <laughs> <laughs> and it was filled with talent fragments. Whoa. And so you use talent fragments to upgrade, to buy and upgrade skills. I Do you use it to buy? Oh, maybe not buy. Because I think that it was just like, here we've got the skills. And so, like, we use, yes, yes. I am. Uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> not enough fragments. Yes, you are correct. There are not enough fragments. Um, I Well, it does say learn skill. I think it's just like finalize. Yeah. Oh, okay. So but you, you might have to level up to learn it. Ice freeze, wind jet, debuff. Oh my goodness! I think like this character has a little bit more than we than the previous one that we were using. Yeah, uh, last time it, it it took us a while before we even got talent fragments. Recover influence. Okay, so that's heal. Yes. Is recover influence. Influence is, is heal. Skill slots full. Okay. Oh. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, you've got recover influence. Right, but I can't. You can't. I can only have two right now. Oh, and so you, you have got to forget sword one of the uh, skills. So I'm just going to go with that. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's a way to do it. And then learn. Yes. 
We really need to get into a fight. I feel like before we got into like four fights. <laughs> <laughs> so the the red squares will give you a fight. Is that a fight? Let's yeah. see. And I forgot where we're going. We're going over to... Uh, There's a temple. This? Yeah, we're trying to yeah. get there. Because it's got the scroll that we can use to beat the Voltron guy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And they do they do a weird thing with this game because <laughs> they give you a lot of movement options. Yeah. But they make you go the right path to land where you go. So, like, in that case, you didn't what? take five oh, to go shit. where you go. Whoa, you're I, strong. I was set to auto attack, apparently. Oh. It got 100 Jabba coins. He got 40 of something. All right. A 40 experience. Uh, now, I guess the thing is, do we have enough? This character is a lot stronger than our last one. Like, do we have enough strength to, to beat the boss? Of course, it doesn't really matter, right? Because we found out that if you lose... It's not game over. You just lose the day. You just lose the day. Yeah. So, okay. So. Yeah. I say let's try it. I mean, you did get that big attack buff, um, and, which and is what it seemed like the Grimoire did. Yeah. Or no, the Grimoire is what you get for winning. So even better. We got the attack buff from talking to that one person. Yeah. Um, good Lord. Okay. Wow, yeah. Okay. This is way more, so, way faster than the previous. <laughs> uh and we went up. Okay, mm -hmm. level four. So let's see. Is there a um, is there something on here that uh, designates how many talents you can have at the same time? Oh, I don't feel like I see anything I that says that. So, all right. Um, so you and you do have to land on the space. So like, oh, okay. So but it'll let us. Yeah, they always. I feel like at least here at the beginning they put it where you could like. They definitely give you like these loops so that you can make sure to get to the. Is your influence gauge full? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, like there, there, there. There's a setup like that in front of the boss here. Where yeah, you where you could, can go in a circle in order to like go more or less. Yeah. Okay. Battle. Yay! The oh. steel skin card. Interesting. Maybe. Oh no! See, so you started on a fight with another character on that space, so but you still did not get them on your party. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, we're, we might... We got a lot of attacks, but we don't have a lot of hit points. We might have to go back out and uh, buy... Because we didn't go to the store to get, like, armor and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. was what we ended up having to do before. Did you pick up that Recover Influence skill? You could you could he heal yourself. Yeah. Right. I just don't think I have enough to, to really... Bear the attacks of the boss. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is a high jump? First island card, one move card. My goodness. I um, think I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, I, should we go buy? Let's go buy some stuff. I feel like we're going to need to buy stuff in order to get to the, in okay. order to kill the boss. Let's um, do it. Yeah. So yeah, weird JRPG. Weird JRPG, know. but I I like I do like. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that over the like over the holidays that you didn't like just get into it. Um, I I am as well. Oh, oh. Well, just get some talent fragments. Okay. Um. Um. Because I like this format. I think this is a really interesting way to do this. Um. But I'm playing like six other games right now. <laughs> I don't have to... There are a lot of fucking games. I had to make a spreadsheet. I had to make a spreadsheet. There's a lot of games going on right now. Uh, I, just, I just finished Carrion the other day, which was great. Oh, Carrion was fantastic. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, oh my goodness. We're in the ice cream sh store. You know, the drink menu, food menu. You okay Your dream gathering assignment. Oh, she liked the ultimate dream... You said she was a maid before. But I she thought like she was the ultimate maid, but she, but then she was standing next to the other person who I thought was the ultimate maid. So now I don't know what. <laughs> How many ultimate maids are in this game? Uh, it's like something out of a manga. All right. Um. Yeah, I I I made a list of the games I didn't play last year that came out. Uh. And then I went and looked how long every one of them was. And then I put like the shortest ones at the top uh, <laughs> and the longest ones at the bottom. The longest one by far outside of Shin Megami Tensei was uh, uh, the Phoenix Wright. Um, oh, Trilogy? Or, or no, the, 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 the one with the Herlock Sholmes uh, oh, um, with his ancestor. The yeah. uh, Ace, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Ace yep. Um, which was like 70 hours. And there's a, ver there's a way to play that game where you can just like tell the game like, I just want to watch this. Like, really? it, it'll just play itself, oh, and you can just sit there and watch it. You don't have to make any decisions. And I always thought, like, well, if I get stuck, I'll just do that instead. Kind of like the auto battle in mm, Nier. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. I, hmm, that's interesting. I'm not against, <laughs> I'm not against 
stuff like that. But then if it's 70 hours, like a 70 hour TV show, what is that? Like eight seasons of television or whatever? Oh, God damn it. I can't get in there. Uh, all right. Let's just stop on this square and then I can do. I think I have oh, like a you got one, a one move. Yeah, you got a one move card. So I can just get in there. Yeah, there is a certain amount of like how much does this compare oh, sure. to a television show. But the other thing is, you know, it'll be consistent versus like six or seven seasons of a TV show. Yeah. We're like season seven. Everybody's like, stop watching it. See if it's season seven. That's another thing that people say, Bryce, that I'm just like. Mm. I can't. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna stop. Mm. The only, but then the only, uh, I will tell people to 100% do that with um, of of everything. It's One Punch Man. Really? Watch the first season of One Punch Man. And One Punch stop. Man, and then stop mm. because the second season. I heard the is, second season wasn't as good. Is horrible. Which is a shame because I like. One. It, I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, in my Wait, mind, you can just attack this guy. That seems like a really bad idea. That does seem... Let's not do that. <laughs> I wonder uh, why you can do that. Uh, maybe maybe we get to the end, we can do that yeah, maybe before we a, stop. Yeah. What are some ideas you have for unlocking new potential in yourself? Ooh, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just an ordinary high school girl on yeah. this digital desert island full of murders. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, we did this before. Oh, uh, right. Who's who? Um... Chiaki, Manomi, Sayaka. Sayaka. Is she the ultimate serial killer? Mm, no. Sayaka was the ultimate singer, I believe. Oh, okay. Chiaki, was she? Let's she... go find out. Okay. I think she... <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. She, she's the. Is she the ultimate gamer? I think she's the ultimate gamer. Yeah. she's. It's the latest portable, and this is a gaming tablet with retro consoles. Oh. Come on, Chiaki. Just get... Just, just get a Raspberry yeah. Pi. You don't even have to drag around a bunch of consoles. But that's not genuine, nah, Jack. Nah, it's fine. When you're ultimate, you care about genuine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> She's got that, uh, what's that, um, oh, God, what's that thing that's like the big hot retro? Oh. It's got the programmable the chips in it. No, 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 not the analog pocket. Um, oh, um, God, it, it's like this. Oh. It's got programmable ROM chips on it that you can literally, like, um. change them. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, uh, I'm not going to remember the name of it either. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toko Makoto, older students. All right. Hey. Play video games all day. I cannot relate to that at all. Um, you got some blue stuff. All right, but we have a little bit. I wasn't able to buy the the good, the best stuff, but I have more equipment than I had before. So okay. let's go yeah. see if we can beat this bouse. Ooh, the bouse. Oh, whoa. Okay. What kind of interior design should I use? <laughs> well, horror theme, horror obviously. Theme, obviously. Yeah. Horror and summer go hand in hand, right? Yeah. Right? Right? That makes sense. <laughs> they put us in the islands of the second game. Like, yeah, of course. A few things are spookier than pitch darkness, and I'll dim the lights as low as they'll go. Woo. Nobody can see. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It built character. Look at that. What was what is fortitude? Oh, frenzy activated. Ooh. Boost movement and attack for this turn. Jeez. All right. Interesting. I feel like that would have been better when... Oh, shit. I wonder... Can I get... I got 12 moves. Can I get all the way to the boss? <laughs> uh, or does it start me back over when I, I get him in here? it starts you over. Oh. Right. Oh, it's Mono Kid. So uh, if if we skipped over it, or if, or if you forgot, we're we're going after a boss who has a thing that makes you stronger against another wait guy. What is? I wasn't paying attention when he just asked. Yes. I don't. I don't know. Ooh. What was the question? Oh, okay. Oh, you jump straight to the boss. Okay. All right. Well. Well, I have a 1.5x attack. Yeah. Uh, so. All right. Let's do um, it. The question is, should I? I'm gonna amass, amass power. some power. Yeah. Uh, in order to see if I can hit this guy really friggin' hard. Two damage. Two damage. Screw you. Come on. All right, this is gonna be some nonsense. Stop yeah. I yeah. just. I don't know. I. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, so maybe you don't need to grunt. Maybe you don't need to camp. Maybe you don't need to grunt. Maybe as not. Much. Yeah. Maybe you just have to pick the right. I feel like the guy that we were using last time was way weaker compared to this. That's like true. this character, like, I feel like we went in here and got our butts kicked all over the place. You did end up doing a bunch of battles on the way there. Okay, last time or that first time. So so now we have to go to the. Uh, we have to get the treasure, and we have to get to the island. 
and we have to fight the um, beast. That was back. We have to go back outside, right? Yes. Like there's the bridges that back outside. God damn it! I do not want to. I want to treasure. Get that <laughs> treasure. Ah. But yeah, I can. I, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything. I think whoever made this game was very clever. <laughs> I think this is a very clever concept for this kind of game because um, there's so much, there's so much, I believe, allure to fans of this series and seeing the characters from the various games interact. Mm -hmm. And then in between, they used, God damn it. Uh, they used mid boss battle square. Okay. Oh no, look, it's two crappies. Um, but then they used the. Um, a very simple JRPG system mm. that everybody can pick up right. It's like making a game a side scroller, right? Like you don't have to explain that much about this kind of system because it's such a basic system that yeah. anybody can pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, but even basic systems like that have a lot of like room for expansion. Um, Absolutely. And you know that you're oh, you're, son of a bitch. oh man, like this this game. You know you can you can tell you're designed to play it. Many, many times. Yeah. Um, especially um, adding the that weird gotcha pod mechanic in. Yeah. Like, can I? No, I don't have. Oh, uh, go to the. I have a first, first island card. Oh, first island. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I but I think I still have to see if I can get a, a good roll. Son of a Gertz! Gertz! <laughs> I'm going to auto battle. Um,. I didn't, we really didn't have as much trouble getting to the yeah last time <laughs> yeah thing. Um, but you know getting into like talking about auto battling mm -hmm. and JRPGs like, yeah um, I spent last year an inordinate amount of time playing a mobile phone game called uh, Epic Seven which is like any number of high profile RPG mobile RPGs yeah it's got a gotcha thing it's got but it's also got a story yeah it's got stats it's got like progression Yay! but the way that you progress through that game is by feeding monsters and doing a million rolls and building your you know doing the whole doing the whole gotcha thing but at the end of the day like I spent a lot of time playing it and it has like a, it has a very big story that I didn't even see all of. Like, oh, really? is is, yeah, is not, that game yeah. as you have a? Don't you have a one move card? No, I have zero move cards. Uh, I used the one move card to get into the shop before. Uh, I see. Uh, wait. Oh, I got a two move card. I'm gonna get rid of this zero move card. Uh, um, but, yeah. but I look at I look at that experience and I go, well, this didn't seem entirely exploitative. It felt like there was a real story here. Yeah. For a while, I like like was keeping up with the story and it was good. Yeah. I had a lot of strategy. I spent a lot of time strategizing, and now the game took care of all the fighting. So, on some level, isn't that almost an idealized form? Isn't that an actualized form of an RPG, or is that just a really nice Skinner box? Uh, What's I mean, the the, for my money, I mean, I, I, I think about all this stuff a lot. And for my money, I feel like there are a lot of concepts like you and I are actually just talking about the blockchain and NFTs and all that bullshit. Right. Like there are a lot of con. There are a lot of. Oh, fuck. Hey. Finally, uh, there are a lot of um, concepts for games that end up being exploitative, like gotcha games mm -hmm. um, that don't have to be. Like, mm -hmm. the idea that... Oh, it was just a card. <laughs> it was uh, two cards. It was a fucking card. Uh, the idea that... Lose that first it? island card. Destination. Yeah. Well, I was going to use it to get out to the first island. Oh, okay. Uh, then lose that two-move card, yeah. Yeah. Um, and oh. the recovery card. You don't need that recovery card. Yeah, I'm, I'm too powerful for that shit. Uh, um, there's no reason... Like, the idea of... I don't know, like, destiny... Um, the is game. yeah it is like there's nothing wrong with it like there or even the idea oh shit uh oh yeah we have to go across the across uh, the, bridge. the bridge yep oh oh my goodness goodbye double move card i'm gonna get rid of this one i got oh that double move card i bet will yeah we can we can make some some tracks with that um uh like there's no reason that a game of service it has to be a dirty word. Like the idea that you've got a game 
that continues to update that like you know that you've got developers that are putting time and effort into in order to give you something oh cool oh perfect there we go um there's no reason why that has to be a bad thing it's just the way that it's implemented for the most part right. it's like the the publishers like the the people that are making these t- types of games they can't control themselves oh shit all right <laughs> wow kamaru is a beast man like compared to last time this is crazy yeah. um cool. uh there's no reason there, why there's I, like we we could talk theory all day but right now nobody has made anything seemingly worthwhile using it right i yeah the thing is that um it it, it like I don't know. I listened to the uh, what I did listen to the audio version of Jason Schreier's last book, okay. where they went over like it was a lot. It's it kind of like started with, um, with like Warren Spector, and then kind of went through like Bioshock Infinite and a bunch of different games like that. And like I feel like what you end up learning from that book, and maybe this is self evident to everybody, and it's I'm a stupid dum dum. It's just like mm-hmm. corporate wants money. <laughs> and like they have to hold their nose and let artists and writers and talented people make games in order to make the money but they do not give a shit whether a game is good or bad or whatever like if they could make the most exploitative game that ripped off everybody if they could make a game that was broken mm-hmm. and sell it for a thousand dollars a piece they would sleep like babies they would sleep the sleep of the dead. They would have no problem whatsoever. Yeah. Like they, they. If you ripped off every eight-year-old's allowance, and you made more money with it, they would not fucking care one bit. And I like directors, producers, some of the people who have risen through the ranks. But like when you hear these stories about like what the corporate structure of EA or like the Bobby Kotick of the world care about, they do not give a shit about whether games are good or bad or anything. All they care about is money. And so it's constantly this push and pull of trying to make as much art as you can while still making enough money that you're able to not be dissolved Mm. and and moved on to another project. And um, I feel like right now the corporate side is winning. Uh, (laughs) Because we allowed like... Um, and, and none of this is to like blame anybody, but because we allowed things like the fucking horse armor and the loot boxes and the games of service and some of the got more d- destructive gotcha like phone games, and nobody ever just made those things tank like mm. um, <laughs> that. It slowly but surely changed the landscape of gaming from like we're gonna make a product that is complete all into itself. We're gonna sell it, and if we do a good job, then we're gonna make a lot of money. Uh, even though that totally still happens, but like it's just it's not enough anymore for them to make just that amount of money because the new normal is to make that amount of money and then a season pass and like uh, uh, you know a microtransaction store and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't ra- rant and rave about it too much because it's uh, you know it, it's I feel like everybody it's knows the, way of the world right, yeah. but it just like I also remember the time when it wasn't like that. Um, Ooh, small box. Do the small yeah. box. And, 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 you know, I feel like you I can remember it was, it was like two years ago when Bethesda was going to let people let like modders start charging for their mods on Skyrim right. and then taking a piece of that. And it was like, that was fucking horrible. Right. That was so bad. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, like, uh, there's so much of it, but it's just it's difficult to to to. In theory, there's no reason that none of the, that any of this stuff should be bad. It's just in the execution, and a lot of times, I feel like the the, the corporate structure cannot help themselves. We're uh, in a weird space with games. Ah, ah there's genocide, Jack. <laughs> um, we're we're in a weird game, weird, weird space with games, um, because. Uh, yeah. As of, uh, as as people probably know, like video games are the biggest media industry of all time. Yeah, but they are also the space the space that has been less democratized by the digital uh, revolution. Right? right, it is it is it became a lot easier to write a book, to make music, to shoot a movie, um, but it is still very difficult to make a video game. I think it's easier than before, especially with like uh, the, uh, Epic and the Unreal Engine and the Unity and Unity, stuff like that. Like it is, it is easier than ever before. Yeah, but there's still a lot of a lot of barriers to entry versus. It's harder to do as a, it's also harder to do as like a single person or as yes. a very small group it, it, because yes, a single person can I mean. sit down and write a book. 
like right right you can't yeah. it is very difficult to do that with a video game yeah it is, it is to do everything significantly more difficult sound and music and you know uh, right. all that stuff yeah <laughs> because it is oh, an amalgamation nice. of all of those things of illust of art of text of music of x and y and z yeah um and so it makes it it makes it very weird to like I don't know. I think about this as part of my identity of like how like being critical of video games as a as a medium. Oh my god! Worthy of criticism. Whoa! Strength just keeps oh my fucking gosh. going up. Um, uh, to 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 treat the industry seriously when it's clearly a still very early industry um, that is kind of like you mentioned, like is very that it is entirely profit driven. Yeah. At the moment, are we going here? I don't. I don't know. We got to get the next. Did oh, yeah, I don't where? think we ever. I don't think we ever got this far. I, I think we kind of. Yeah, I don't. We, we plowed through the boss <laughs> so fast on this that like I don't think we ever did this. But uh, yeah, no, I I ooh, uh, I get it. Uh, I think that. I think that we might be running into a situation between the supply chain issues of the consoles and the. I, I read a. Um, I read a whole op-ed on PC Gamer last week that was just like. PC gaming is dying because nobody can fucking buy a video card. Like, if you can't buy a two hundred dollar like like mid tier video card that looks pretty good, yeah. then you can't build a system. You can't build a PC for about the same cost as a console. Mm -hmm. And if you can't do that, then people are just going to fucking buy consoles because nobody's going to. You know, there's the fifteen hundred dollar, you know, RTX thirty ninety card. <laughs> Somebody building a forty-five hundred dollar PC that's like top of the line, sure. but a lot of people don't have the money to do that. And they just want something. So you could generally woo people because people want to have PCs anyway into buying like a middle tier PC. But if none of the video cards that can do the current gen like graphics are available, right. then you're going to run into a situation where people can't buy those things. And then combining that with the uh, fact that the the new gen consoles, like in order for developers to make next gen only games you have to have a, a wide and adoption a of the consoles right um you might be running into a problem here of like i but but see everything that i've read says that's not true that it's like <laughs> uh it's just as hot as it used to be um because they like they've sold more ps5s than ps4s in the same time period uh, uh, according sure. to a thing that i was reading but like i don't know it's it's hard to know what would actually change that mm -hmm. sort of thing. You uh oh, know, you know where that gets tough. So, like, if you are, let's say you are ha you are outside of the gaming ecosystem. Or yeah. no, let's say you are in the side eco gaming ecosystem, right? You have a PS4, and you're thinking about getting a next oh gaming God. thing. Oh boy. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think that's... I'm. Unless I can do this. Is he, I think he's faster. Is it, he's than gonna. You, yeah, he's gonna attack first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Not enough to one shot this weird bat tank, whatever it is. Um, anyway, um, but if you're on a PS4 looking to go to a PS5, a lot of PS5 games have become cross generation. Have right. they've made ports and things for like that? So you have a device. Whereas if you were, if you're a PC gamer and you're looking to upgrade to a newer graphics card, like the games that you're going to be affected by wow. will be. Whoa! Oh my God! Look at that. Oh shit! Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I could still one shot those, but ugh. but at what cost? Oh, because that was a that's a mini game or a, oh, mini, a mini boss, boss. Yeah, square. So, um, but if you're on PC and you can't get a card, you can still buy older games. You could buy yep. indie games. You can buy smaller games. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna be affected when it comes to these high high franchise AAA yearly games, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I can't play Call of Duty because I don't have the I don't have a new graphics card from the past couple of years right well that's who's going to be affected not the people making smaller indie games yeah um yeah it's a it's, it's a so weird it's a weird. weird time my my only hope is that my hope is that the uh and this is like so outside of the beaten path but my hope is that the current unionization efforts that you're seeing out there are going to lead to the people that make the games having more power and being able to have more of a, like once you get past the kind of just basic human rights of like, you know, I don't want to be groped sure. <laughs> like, or, or passed over for promotion, that if you have a collective bargaining like uh, um, uh, platform that you might be able to then 
once that becomes if that becomes normalized you might be able to use that as a way to start pushing back on more like artistic things right of just like mm. you're trying to force us to make something that we all that everybody here knows is going to be a flop or you're trying to mm. uh push a, an unfinished game out there i'm frankly uh d just flabbergasted that cd project red for all the crap that i've talked about with them over the last year um is has not taken more of a hit the cd that cyberpunk 2077 mm -hmm. is actually a success right. even though it was broken and it's probably going to take another year to even get to where it probably should have been when it originally came out like it's probably it's right. playable now but like i i don't want to get i don't want to get uh, <laughs> off on a side i i will be here all i will be the ultimate complaining about cyberpunk 2077 if you let me i've been it before bryce i I've, will do it again and uh, i have let him be that before <laughs> and it's not pretty all right well you know what uh so we're in a weird situation we're gonna wrap it up here okay. because our audio stopped working <laughs> uh and we're recording this after the fact but huh. we did manage to beat the boss for this level so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it up here hmm. but then i'm going to do a thing that we don't normally do on rage select which is just <gasps> you can watch the rest of it <gasps> just you don't have to listen to us jabber about <laughs> nfts for forever that's listen. your that's my <laughs> nft to you is that you don't have to listen <laughs> to bryce and I. no it's a pleasure to listen to bryce and i we, uh, had a, we did have a good conversation but we did you know what we did we solved all the and world's problems we solved all of them but, but you know the, what? enjoy your life but listener. sound soundforge locked up so you You'll never know. Classic, uh, classic. In the meantime, <laughs> like, subscribe, tell us all your problems uh, in the comments down below. Do something. I don't know. YouTube wants you're supposed to say it. I don't care about it. Don't do anything you don't want to. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I will tell you though to go to patreon.com forward slash rage slide to kick us the bucks because that, that, that's yeah. how I afford to buy Danganronpa you games. You got all those sequentials that you just done? Yeah. Or almost done? So many. There's so many on there. There's so many. If you've never been a patron before, it's like <laughs> the last one. We're about to finish Psychonauts 2, and I think before that it was Resident Evil Village. I might do that because I don't think I want to buy Psychonauts 2. It's so good. Play it it's so good. Oh. Uh, it was very good. I'm mad that it didn't win some games of the years. Is. But uh, yeah. And then uh, at some point, I've actually, I've literally played every single From Software RPG to completion for Patreon. So at Including some point. Including Armored Core? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Souls 1, 2, and 3, uh, Demon Souls, and nice. uh, Bloodborne. Sorry, I thought you were talking about role playing games. <laughs> no, and we didn't even play, I didn't even play Sekiro because I didn't want to, but because oh. um, I, I never finished that game because it's too mean. Yes. But anyway, if you want to watch a bunch of stuff. Um, Patreon.com forward slash Rachel. Also, come to the Discord server. I just created a Wordle channel, so you can come own yeah. own me in Wordle. You're not noobs. slumping. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That was, that was the word for the day. It was slump. Oh, oh okay. Yes, that's, that's right. That's why you didn't notice. That's right. Uh, Bryce, tell the good people where they can find you on the internet. Uh, well, we're, we're in between seasons on Marbles, but you can follow me on Twitter at Brycus, B-R-Y-C-A-S. And if you want information about the Marbles Racing League, mm -hmm. go to marbles.win. It's a website, and it's got all the information there. Thank you. Boom. Uh, and that is it. And so without further ado, here is an unspecified amount of Danganronpa S Summer Camp. Enjoy it, I suppose.
um... <laughs> no... <laughs> huh? What? Hmm... Um, that's... But... Jeez! <laughs> Amazing! Um, yeah. What's your problem? <laughs> Um...
like I said.